Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Libra. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. Well, we have the Ten of Pentacles coming out, but it's in reverse. Ooh. It's funny how I said that Ten and then Ten of Pentacles comes out. We have the Two of Pentacles. The Nine of Cups in reverse. And the Chariot. Okay. So there could be some type of family situation coming to an end. If it's, yeah, it could be um, we have financial failure, loss of an investment, deep family conflicts, breaking traditions. Yeah. Someone's like been weighing their options about things here. Somebody's not fulfilled in their current situation. Yeah, the chariot though. All right, so clarify the 10 of pentacles or reverse. What does this have to do with 1010? So somebody feels like it's time to make a move here or some some type of conclusion is close. A decision being made that's going to lead to a conclusion, like an ending of a situation. This is going to lead to some type of like Ten of Pentacles in reverse situation. Conflict over money, deep family conflicts, loss of an investment. Yeah. Financial failure. Huh. Tell you about ten of, Two of Pentacles in reverse. The Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sag energy. We also have, the, also have Cancer energy here. Um. Okay. What is this decision about? The uh oh, somebody's got to make a decision in love. Somebody's being very resistant to change. What about this Queen of Wands? How does this Queen of Wands relate to my collective? The High Priestess, Pisces energy. What about the High Priestess? The Page of Wands, the Page of Swords in reverse. Hmm. What is the Lovers? Gemini energy. We also have Scorpio here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Pisces. We have everything here, pretty much. Two of Wands. Yeah, somebody's trying to make a decision either between two people or about leaving some type of family situation and maybe going through some type of family conflict or, conf yeah, a divorce for some of you or some, yeah, but it's like with the death in reverse, somebody is, um, is being very resistant to an ending here or change. <sighs> somebody feels like they need to choose between two situations. All right, so let's see. Tell me about nine of cups in reverse. Why? But someone's not happy in their current situation. Yeah, there's no, there's disharmony there or there either someone's ha unhappy in their current situation or someone um, is unhappy that you and the two of you cannot make something work right now. There's conflict between the two of you. Okay. The chariot or between, yeah, the empress. Somebody wants to move towards this empress energy, the divine feminine, divine masculine, the empress Taurus energy. Okay. So what is, how does my collective fit into this situation? Because I'm still not. We have the Hermit in reverse, the Four of Swords, Justice in reverse. You guys are releasing a situation because you feel like it's unfair. You may feel like somebody is refusing to introspect. Insecurity. You're dealing with a very, you feel like you're dealing with a very moody, insecure person that you're giving way too much to. And the... So you guys are maybe having a hard time letting this person go as well, okay? Yeah, I don't know. So what's happening going forward here? Four of Cups. I might have to go upstairs, guys. My kids are being way too loud and banging and everything. Give me a second. <laughs> I might have to, to step away for a second and see what's going on up there. Um, They're waiting for something here. What does this weight have to do with my collective? The Knight of Swords reverse. Somebody's not being too quick to make a decision here. Somebody, and you guys could be growing impatient. Someone's growing impatient and someone's not too so quick to make a decision here. All right. So we need more clarity on what, what about what the situation is. So. What I want to use. I don't even know if this is a love situation quite yet. What is the situation, Spirit? What is the situation?
know what the situation is. We have inner goddess. Express your divine feminine energy. Maybe some of you guys are moving forward, very determined, knowing your worth here. Yeah. And loving wisdom will transform your life. Okay. The underworld, Scorpio energy, awaken your inner witch to maximize your potential and connect to the universal energy. We have angels are watching. There's nothing to worry about. Angels are, angels are watching you. Okay. And we have explosive situations. This destruction will allow new growth to emerge and shape a new future. So you maybe had some type of bad ending with somebody. So maybe something that something ended really bad, but it's saying that it's so that new growth can emerge and to shape a new future for you. Yeah. Lighthouse. You're a light, you're a light that can't be hidden and don't ever try to dim it for anyone. Yeah. I feel like you guys are knowing your worth. You're no longer settling. You're no longer, you know, playing small for somebody here. So something's coming to an end. So there's like a tower here. I still don't, I still want more information on about what the situation is. Hmm, hmm. What should I look at? Give me more clarity on what the situation. So we have no rush. Put your heart into it, but don't rush. There are valuable lessons along the way that will prepare you for the future. We have divine assistance. Okay, hold on. The cards keep that card keeps getting messed up. Um, accept the help that your angels are sending you to assist you in your endeavors. You don't have to fight this battle alone. So like they're almost saying like let let them help you. Let them take care of something at this time divine gifts there are talents and spiritual gifts you have been given but not using using but put yourself to good use mm. and we have walk alone you need to walk this journey alone to consult with your own inner guidance the answers lie with you alone and we have celebrate success be proud of what you have achieved you struggle long and hard to get to this point so it's like you guys are finally letting something go but you guys have prayed for something and they're assuring you. It says your prayers will be answered. Speak your intentions and the universe will provide your heart's desires. What is their heart desiring? Yeah, level up your expectations and don't settle for what you already know. See how you can improve your life. Yeah, you guys are playing small and you weren't tapping into your full potential. And I feel like there needs to be like a time. What I'm getting, it says when the choice is hard, follow your heart and your desire desires will stop fighting against you. It's almost like... Find your target. When you're in alignment with the universe, you will you will not miss your mark. Get clear on your desires. Yeah, it's almost like there's a need. Yeah, this is like a karmic. The situation is linked into karmic energy. And the reason of your challenges, it's time to work off your karmic debts. But it says the wait is nearly over. Expect to receive news to an important issue that will have a positive outcome. Oh, we have new love. A new relationship is entering your life who will be a reflection of your newfound authenticity. All right, so I feel like what Spirit is saying is that there was like a need for you to really get clear on what it is that you wanted in regards to love, all right, and what you wanted your life to look like. And anything that wasn't in alignment with that had to be removed from your life. You had to stop pursuing that um, because that's sending conflicting messages to the universe. You can't ask the divine for like, you know, you, you just say you you ask the divine for a specific per, like type of person, right? But you keep going back and dealing with this person and selling for this person that is the exact opposite of that, right? So there was a need for you to get like your actions, your words, your thoughts, your desires, all those things into alignment. OK, so that you could actually manifest um, and show the divine that you're actually ready for that. OK, to come in to material to manifest into your life. So it does look like I mean, I predominantly, guys, am a love reader. All right. So nine times out of ten, the reading will be about love for me. OK, that is my thing. But. It's like, looks like you guys are ending a relationship here with somebody. You're walking away from somebody and you're moving forward and with, you know, knowing your worth and your, your divine, divine feminine or divine masculine energy. All right. Because this situation was not working out. It wasn't fulfilling you. All right. This is maybe somebody that was also juggling you. Yeah. Tell me more about what this situation was that they're releasing or walking away from for right now. Yeah, the divine guided you to do this. 
oh, you've met your divine flame. So you do have a divine connection with this person, but it just may not be the right time. It says, just follow the signs of your soul and everything will occur in divine timing. We have marriage. They see you as marriage material. Someone that inspires them to create a strong foundation for marriage. So you're dealing with somebody that knows that they're not really marriage material right now or that they don't have their life together enough to be able to, they see you as, they see you as worthy, that they know that you deserve that, right? But they don't feel that they're able to give that to you or even be on the path to that right now. So they're trying to build a stronger foundation, I feel like, in their own life because you see that they're in this Ten of Pentacles in reverse energy. And that's why there's been this back and forth on and off again relationship with you and this person. They are trying to make sense of this connection, but their emotions swing back and forth between two extremes. Yeah. Deal with a very fickle, wishy-washy person, and that can get exhausting. They need to get clear on what they want, too. Choices. There is a choice they have to make. Yeah, they know that they know time is not on their side and risk losing you forever if they don't. So they know that they are about to, it's, it's a good possibility that they're about to lose you forever because they've taken way too long to make a decision. And I, that's what I said. It's like somebody needs to make a decision. They're not feeling like a fire lit under their ass to even make this decision. And the other person's growing impatient and they are aware of this. Okay. We have coldness. They feel you pulling away. Yeah. They wish they can pull you back and convince you they're worth keeping. <sighs> sexual union there's their greatest sex memory is with you <laughs> but it's more than just sex it's their memory of feeling so close to you mm. oh boy oh they're about to come in and fight for you at some point y'all their inner warrior is being activated they're getting ready to fight for you and overcome their fears of love because they feel like they're losing you this is somebody that but it's like gonna be maybe after a time of separation i'm gonna be honest with you guys this person still needs to go through the dark night of the soul their experience in like a, a massive upheaval and it could be like i said a divorce or it's like a family situation coming unraveled here um they that's what they maybe need to make a decision is between you and some type of family situation all right it says they're experiencing massive upheaval to help them align with new levels of love with themselves and the connection separation they're focusing on their own personal journey and choosing not to focus on love because there is nothing to give so this person feels like they can't love you if they don't love themselves. They they don't feel like they have anything to offer you right now. They do view you as marriage material. You do have like some type of soul contract with this person or divine purpose with them. Um, and they know that like you're not going to just wait around for them forever. So, but it's, it's like you guys, it says they want to message you and explain everything to you, but they know that you have, they have to do it right. So it's like this person does not want to be apart from you right now, but they know that that's pretty much the only option because you're maybe not dealing with certain things anymore. You know your worth. Ooh, this is maybe somebody that benefited off of you in the past, not knowing your worth, right? When you don't know your worth, you settle for, you know, less than you deserve, right? And, you know, you might possibly settle for somebody that's wishy and fickle and, you know, that, yeah, it's like they know that they want to be in contact with you. They want to, you to be in each other's lives, but they know that if they don't come correct, that maybe you're not going to go for that. But it's like they're still communicating with you. Like there's still that connection there. It says the telepathy you share cannot be ignored. Your words are slowly leaving imprints upon their hearts. Wow. Yeah. So tell me about, so we have separation here in dark night. So fairy tale coming apart. Yeah. Meeting you was unexpected. You changed their whole world forever. Feeling lost as they lose their old identity. Yeah. It's like, they're like, yeah, awaken. Wow, this person's going through an awakening. The awakening process has begun. They now hold a new understanding of love and recognize the connection. So you guys, we have music here as well with telepathy. So you guys could be getting messages from this person through music. Music brings them closer to you. Certain songs remind them of just how special your connection was to them. So you may be like, you know, somehow you guys are communicating through music. So what does this have to do with 1010? What does all this have to do with 1010 spirit? Because I feel like there's been an ending or will be an ending. Yeah, you guys are in separation from this person right now. Um, and just know that their life feels very empty without you in it. It says they miss you more than words can say, but they think it's too late to fix things. So part of them kind of feels like um, it may, like it's just maybe irreparable between the two of you. We have past life. Their soul recognized your soul from the moment they met you. They knew you were the only the one they've been waiting for. Yeah, they know there's something special about this connection. Wishing well, there's a lot of excitement in the air. You're, you you awakened a new life in them, and that has them lost in a field of possibilities. Twin flame. So, yeah, this could be your twin for some of you. You don't have to you don't have to be or do anything for them to love you. Their higher self wants union as much as you do. 
you know a big problem here with this person and why union can't occur right now, y'all, is because although they desire you and they feel drawn towards you and they miss you, this person has lessons to learn. They have to to really gain new perspective on some things here because this person still is not wanting to take accountability for some things. They're, this is why this came to an end. It says they are unable to see the complete extent of the toxicity they brought into the connection because that's all they know. This person is having to like having a huge upheaval in their life where they're like unlearning everything that they knew and relearning it. You know what I mean? In a better way. And I don't know, like they may be like only witness co toxic connections like that or toxic behaviors like this. And this person is having to go through this process where they have to realize like, damn, like I was toxic to the collective. Like that, that was actually not right of me to do that to them. Like they don't see anything wrong with some of the things that they've done to you at this point. So what's going to end up happening with that? That's probably why the two of you aren't working, because if you don't see anything wrong with something that you're doing to somebody, you, odds are you haven't stopped doing it. So they keep doing these toxic things to you. They keep repeating these same mistakes, which that came out, I think. Didn't that come out? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that came out in the tarot. It's like somebody keeps doing the same thing and making the same mistake with you because they had they don't see the error in their ways. They don't see anything wrong with it. Okay, so this is making sense. So then I feel like that's why you and this person have gone into separate. Okay, so we have children here. Children are affecting this connection. Be patient and allow them to resolve things for the highest good of all. So they maybe have a situation with children going on. Ooh, we have betrayal. Their fleeting heart will only end up betraying you. Yeah, because this person being so wishy-washy and not knowing what they want and not having clarity about some things and not seeing the truth of some things and just being all over the place. I, I believe there's a quote that says like a confused man or you can make it a man or a woman is the thief of all joy or the thief of all happiness. And like, that's what this is. Like this person can't give you anything stable because they're unstable. They can't give you love because they don't even love themselves. Like their fleeting heart will only end up to betraying you in the end. Your soul deserves better. So like spirit just knows you deserve better than this. Okay. Yeah, you're energetically connected to this person. There, they, there's people maybe talk, they're talking, they're talking to their family about you. They're, they're gossiping or something here. Though they never had you, to them you will always be the one that got away. They regret the chances they didn't take. Lack of faith, leaving you out in the cold, has been one of their biggest regrets. They regret how they handled you. They feel like it's hard to stay away from you as well. It's like they're getting more in alignment, but they're just not there yet, y'all. And that's why you're, they're just, you guys still aren't just on the same vibration or the same level. And that's why the two of you aren't together right now. Yeah, they there's healing that needs to be done here. Tell me more about what's going on. Since the Twin Flame card came out, I'm going to draw some of those cards. See what's up here. Oh, shit. Hold on, guys. I'm about to drop a deck. Okay. So what's going to happen? What's happening here, Spirit? Lady Spiderweb. New connection. Shaping your reality. Bringing together past, present, and future. Cl give me clarity on that. It's like you're going to be creating your life, but we have unhealthy choices. Bad eating habits, focus on your health, careful who and what you let in. So you guys could be like maybe opening up to the possibility of new connections or something like that. But Spirit is saying there's something here. What about unhealthy choices? Not amused. Like you guys are trying, you, some of you guys have tried to date and get out there. But I just feel like you guys feel like you don't maybe make, make the best choice. Like you don't pick the best men or women or something like that. Tell me more. Miss Lazy Daisy. Lack of action, procrastination, reluctance to make an effort. Okay, what is new? What is, I don't get it. What's the new connections have to do with that? The traveler, beginning your journey of what? Long distance, beginning your journey of like exploring new connections. Key to closed doors, access to new, yeah, you guys are about to like maybe encounter new people here. What was closed before is now open. Two possibilities at a crossroads. What? 
What does this mean for my collective? Ancient history. Someone you have a past. You guys are going to maybe end up having a choice between two people. Or you're going to have a choice between choosing yourself and this person. The hand of fate, fated events, fated relationship forces beyond your control. Conversation, need to clarify something. Email, text, messages, phone call. Oh, so you're about to hear from somebody. It's like you're in control of your reality now, though. They want you to know that you're in control. And they want you to be careful about who you let into your energy. Or you're being more, you're, you're trying to make healthier choices for yourself. And you're just like getting like and growing impatient and growing bored with the situation with this person because they're not made. They don't put in any effort. They're a procrastinator. They don't take any action. So I feel like you guys are like maybe opening up to the possibility of like new love. But you are going to end up having a choice between like the past and maybe new love or something like that. But like you're going to be receiving communication here. Two hearts falling in love. The feeling is mutual, equal effort. Uh oh. Can, can, lots of passion here. Miracles. What does that do with this connection? I don't understand really. What's that do with this connection? Radiant sun, confidence, success, optimism, and fulfillment. So this could lead to a good place. But somebody's starting to become skeptical. Yep, there we have the world. Somebody maybe wants to put an end to the, the fighting and the arguing. New worlds are opening up. Rewards after hard lessons. Yeah, you and this person were on the same page, but somebody feels like they need to express themselves to you, tell you what they've, but they're afraid of rejection. They want to tell you what you aren't aware of about how they feel about you. Yeah. Somebody acts like they don't care, but I feel like somebody knows that they only have one more chance with you. And when they come in, it's got to be all or nothing when they come in. But I feel like you guys definitely will end up having a choice here about whether or not you want to open up to, like, dating new people. Yeah, somebody sees the truth. Divine love. Somebody sees that this is a divine love now. Yeah, somebody's having an epiphany. Sudden insight into reality. Yeah, nature. Ground yourself. Connect with nature. Take a breather. Lighting the way. Setting an example. The light of their life. Setting strong boundaries. Also, now you guys have set strong boundaries with this person. Now they want to take action here. Forward movement, willingness to do the work, taking control of a situation. See, is it because you guys are getting out there and meeting new people? Or is it something to do with their social? What is this? Listening to other people's opinions, others affecting the outcome. Proper offering, receiving an offer, a gift or contribution, wanting to, wanting to say something or offer. I don't know, guys. There's like a... Mm -hmm. Somebody's worried that you are about to, to meet somebody new. You, you guys may have options, to be honest. Why is somebody worried that you have options? <laughs> Why? The cosmos. Align with the universe, divine plan, soul gifts. What's that to do with them? Okay, divine hand. Divine assistance, Midas touch, attracting helpful people. Safe place. Knight's Tale. Infinite abundance. Unexpected knowing your worth. Yeah, what's that do with my collective? Time flies. Yeah, losing track quicker than expected. So something's maybe happening kind of fast here soon. Awakening your vision to magic. Drinking to forget, trying to move on on the rebound, deeply misses, misses you, closed off. What? So what's happening here? The return. For what reason? Ah, you know what's going to happen here? Be wow, because they see the truth. Now they want to be a loyal companion. Now they want to devote themselves to you. Yeah. Now they want to open their heart to you. Yeah, they do think you're the queen bee, ruler of their heart, standing out from the rest. Wow. Somebody's losing sleep over you. See, they're cutting something off here. Maybe during Venus retrograde, because we do have planetary vibes. It could be between, it could be Venus retrograde. It could be Mercury retrograde. It could be Saturn retrograde. I mean, um, yeah, Saturn retrograde. 
Yeah, you guys have an unbreakable bond. A love that will last a lifetime. Strong, stable relationship. Somebody betrayed you because of maybe materialism or selfishness. Somebody just knows that they're going to have to like come in and take some type of quick action here. They feel like you, um, th that you're kind of high maintenance or they kind of feel like you require a lot. They feel like you're hard to please because you're this, yeah, Lady Venus, beauty and grace, romantic and sexual, explores your desires. You know what, guys? You may not even be ask asking too much of this person, but they definitely put you on a pedestal. All right. It says great admiration, idealizing and denying flaws, feeling they're out of your league. Yeah, that's what it is. Available, no limits or restrictions, willingness to be vulnerable. They're about to open up to you. Or that's what, it, that's maybe what the indecision has been about as well is like whether or not this person wants to open their heart to you or not. They want to be vulnerable with you because they're extremely guarded. So, what in the, all right. Um, so give me more clarity on the whole 1010 aspect spirit. And then we're going to take this over to the extended reading because this definitely needs more clarity. I want to know what's coming to an end for this person. Some, or what's coming to an end in this connection? Let's see. What's coming to an end before I get into that? What's what's this 1010? What's coming to an end? What's ending? Romance in the workplace. Oh. A work partnership is coming to an end or... Oh, some a romance at work, meet at work, somebody that they met at work. Tell me more about it. So there is maybe somebody else here. It could be this Queen of Wands energy. They've been juggling you and somebody else. One of these situations is about to come to an end. Soulmate bond, draw drawn together, harmony, support. So what's that have to do with ten ten? Love gates are open, manifesting love, love coming soon. What does this have to do with romance in the workplace? Eternal bond. Children involved. What does eternal bond mean for my collective? Thinking of calling. But what is this other? What is this romance in the workplace? Choosing to ignore. Worth waiting for. What? Thoughts of marriage. What? I don't get it. So is this, are you guys the, the workplace romance? See, diluting the truth. White lies don't want to hurt you. That they have somebody that they have a work partnership with or that they met at work or something like that. What does this have to do with? What does this have to do with my collective? What's going on here? Feeling abandoned. Yeah, they abandoned you for somebody. Possibly somebody that they work with. And now you've closed yourselves off to this person. Is someone scared to lose you? They've been holding on to some type of past, something, access baggage. Yeah, it's wants or has children, immaturity. Yeah, they could be just immature. Past life karma, karmic debts, karmic cycle. They have a karmic cycle that they're in with somebody that they met at the workplace or something like that. Checking their messages, looking at old message, hoping you, you text. So whoever this person is, they have a, it's like they have a surface level bond with somebody. And then they also have like a, a soul connection with somebody here. And I feel like with the workplace romance, that's what's coming to an end. They're so better. Yeah, because they've met somebody better. They can't move on from you. Yeah, but they, yeah, they were definitely keeping their options open and not wanting to open up to you, breaking their promises to you. Yeah, they definitely betrayed you, but we have romantic gestures, building a home, twin flame love. Yeah. They need, or maybe there's somebody that they need to heal from. Maybe this work, this person that they did have a workplace romance with. Questions and doubts, needing answers, unsure, they're hesitant. Avoiding an escapism, not facing reality. Yeah, they've been trying to avoid making something official with you and having this new beginning. Some of them kind of feels like it's a hope, a hopeless situation, or they're afraid that they're gonna, you're gonna reject them. 
somebody could be like taking a trip soon, falling in love, true love. Oh, yeah. I don't know, y'all. This is definitely a third party situation, but I feel like one of these situations is coming to an end. I feel like you guys have, this is like you're a twin or you have a soul connection with this person and they have a surface level connection with somebody else. That's what I'm thinking. Or it could be vice versa. All right. So 